Today we will be showing you how quick and easy it is to service our E-Series amplifiers, specifically with the 350A400 and the 2500A225B. Please be sure to contact AR Service Department before opening your machine from AR to prevent the elimination of the machine's warranty. Here at ARRF Microwave Instrumentation, we design and manufacture our A-Series broadband high power amplifiers. These Class A amplifiers offer frequency bandwidths of 10 kHz to 225 MHz, 10 kHz to 250 MHz, and 10 kHz to 400 MHz, as well as power levels from 25 watts up to 50 kW. This is our model, 2500A225B. It offers a minimum power of 2500 watts CW with a frequency range from 10 kHz to 225 MHz. The 2500A225B uses a modular approach with a focus on performance, ease of use, and serviceability. The touchscreen display located on the control panel provides operation status and system diagnostics. The key lock switch for selecting local or remote operation and an alternate option location for a type N input connector are also located on the front of the amplifier. Located on the rear of the amplifier is the 716 EIA RF output connector, the standard location for the RF input connector, as well as the widest selection of standard remote interfaces which includes IEEE 488, RS-232, USB, Ethernet, and RS-232 fiber optic. Also on the rear panel is the AC power entry and associated circuit breakers. In the event of an RF module failure, you will be notified by the front panel display shown here. To replace the module quickly and efficiently, simply remove the side cover. The failed module, which is identified by the front panel display, can also be confirmed by the red fault LED seen through the top cover perforations of the module. Eight socket head screws affix the module to the closed looped cooling system cold plate, which means there is no need for AR to break any liquid connections. After adding a small amount of thermal grease to the repaired or replacement module, then reattach the module with the socket head screws, AR is able to reinstall the module and return your amplifier to full operation. Identifying a defective power supply is easy again by a combination of the front panel display and locating the power supply with the red LED. To replace one of the RF module power supplies, AR will simply remove the 8U filler panel on the front of the amplifier. We then unlatch and slide out the power supply. After we slide in the replacement module, we place the panel back on and your amplifier will be back and ready for full function. This is our model 350A400. This model offers 350 watts minimum of CW power with a frequency range from 10 kHz to 400 MHz. The 350A400 is a solid-state, self-contained, air-cooled, broadband amplifier 
designed for applications where instantaneous bandwidth, high gain, and linearity are required. Located on the front of the amplifier is the touchscreen display for operation status and diagnostics information, the local remote switch, and standard location for RF input and RF output connectors. On the rear is the standard remote control options of Ethernet, RS-232, Fiber Optic RF-232, USB, IEEE 488, as well as an alternative location for RF input and RF output connectors. Just like the 2500A-225B, in the event of an RF module failure, the failed module can be quickly identified by the front panel display. The module can be replaced quickly and efficiently by removing the side cover and identifying the red fault LED seen through the side cover perforations. To switch out the failed module, AR will remove the failed module, replace with the new module in the same location, and secure the cover back in place. Once you identify a defective power supply on the 350A400, AR will need to remove the bottom cover from the amplifier. In the 350A400, each power supply is mounted on its own independent mounting plate. Simply removing the four mounting screws and disconnecting the mating harness connections will allow quick and easy removal for our team. Once we replace the power supply, we'll be sure to secure it back in place with the screws, reattach the bottom cover, and you're ready to return to full operation. Thank you for joining us to learn more about AR's A-Series amplifiers. If you have any questions, please contact your local sales representative or our service department at service at arworld.us or visit us at www.arworld.us.